Uh, my name is Tuai. I'm from the Center for Creative Initiative in Health and Population based in Hanoi, Vietnam. Yes. And, um, and what we do is that we want to promote the health equity in Vietnam, so to make sure that people, especially the people from um, like this, the most disadvantaged and the most vulnerable um, um, situation, uh, and get um, equal care. I think the 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 emerging of the 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 the, the LGBT movement in Vietnam is quite uh, special, um, quite quite unique because um, uh, it's just like a long time ago. It seemed like it's been very silent and nobody know about what's like a homosexuality uh, in Vietnam. And uh, suddenly, in 2012, is um, the Ministry of Justice uh, sent out and. Uh, a proposal to, to to amend the law on the marriage and family that uh, and, and in that proposal they um, they proposed to to legalize uh, same-sex marriage or some form of cohabitation uh, so uh, and uh, and this bring um, like a real opportunity for the civil society to work together and uh, to, 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 to to realize this uh, in in the law um, and um, in Vietnam, it become no like uh, in in the world as almost the the first country in in Asia may have that in in the law. So it's quite exciting. Mm. Um, I, I think law is uh, always important because uh, this is the thing that we base on to for to the people and for the agency to base on to, to act uh, um, and that's to guide for the conduct of the society. So, so law as itself is always important framework. Uh, but in the context, especially like Vietnam, where the, um, I think we have a quite many quite good law, quite progressive law, uh, such as like we have the law on gender equity, the law on uh, uh, prevention of uh, domestic violence, law on HIV, so things like that. And um, but but the law itself is cannot like um, uh, ensure that the right the people can can be uh, realized. Uh, so so for example, like uh, now we also involved in the advocating for the amending of the youth law. Where we try to also put in the the, the sexual rights of young people in the law, and um, and then we see that to use the, the the word right itself in the law is not enough, but it's it's more important on how this uh, how the law and, and how the one that stays in the law will be implemented, and in the context in Vietnam where civil society even not like recognized as a, a formal term that you can use in the form, formal context. And the role of the civil society in watching the, the monitor of the imp implementation of the law is still very limited. Uh, it's, it's still very difficult to, to see that when you have the law and, and you can attain the right.